Yeah, I can't see it. Your window filled. Oh, you're good, you're good. Safety first. Right, come in, peeps. Um, the Beatles once did the uh, Magical Mystery Tour. Oh, uh, we're going to be taking you on the Magical Flaxmere Tour here, so tune in. Uh, we'll keep you updated on this uh, epic trip. Uh, Thumbs up, team. You're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> so here's what happens when you go on a trip with a group of teachers. We're literally... We're literally 10 minutes into the trip and they need to stop and buy <laughs> chips and chocolate. So here we are, <coughs> parked up along Plymouthton Way, um, twiddling our thumbs. Should be on the road making making some kilometres under the belt, but I don't know. Um, what should be a, a four hour trip is probably going to be a 10 hour trip, so stick with us, we'll see how we get on. So, half the crew are back, but then the other half decided they need to go to the Wharipaku, and so they've walked up the road to the BP. Oh. So now the New World crew's back, oh. but now I'm waiting for the for the other crowd up at the BP. What a your muzzle. Good news, one of them's turned oh. back up. <laughs> one of them's back. Oh, the now we're only one down. <laughs> We're 35 minutes behind schedule now. <laughs> Still waiting on someone. We've literally driven two kilometers down the road. This is what I mean, this is not good planning. As a van driver, you don't need this sort of thing happening. It puts pressure on you. You don't want to be getting caught behind the eight ball, thinking you have to make up time on the road. So it's not a good idea. But it will mean we arrive later. So. Just stick with us. Well, team, come in. We've had a bit of a disaster here in Woodville. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe it. We stopped at, uh, what's this fish and chip shop called? Fish spot. Fish spot. Looks, uh, looks actually really good. And the, the free food coffee. there, free coffee, looks fantastic. <clears throat> but for a big group of us, we have to, we have to put it on the um, credit card. And then we go up to do the order. And um, unfortunately, not taking any credit cards. So we've had to pile back in the van. Then someone's gone to use the funny pucker and no, we're here. No, not allowed. yeah, they're not allowed we're to because they're not buying anything. So it's just turned into an abject disaster. Anyway, we'll just drive up the road and see what else is happening. Woodville getting a score of about two out of ten at this stage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, team, come in. If all else fails, you know you come to your favourite place in, in the world, McDonald's. Get yourself a mega order. And get stuck in. This is at Danny Burke. We drove through Danny Burke. We didn't feel safe in stopping, so we've um, stopped in at uh, Macca's on the edge of town. Hopefully, we'll get out of here safely. So, um, we'll keep you updated, team. All right, come in, team. Um, got co pilot Phil with me here. We just uh, finished up at Macca's. What was your rating there, Phil? Mm, um, I think my almighty chicken burger was a it's a solid eight. He's going for a solid eight. That's eight out of a hundred. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we got at least got a feed in. Um, nowhere to put the rubbish. Bit of a mess there, but that's all good. Um, so we're on the last stretch now, uh, heading off into Hastings. So wish us well. And we'll see you there. He's vlogging. Alright, come in, team. We survived the night in Hastings. Uh, <laughs> The gunshots, the gunshots were subdued last night. So um, it's great to see everyone's made it through the night. So anyway, we're off to the uh, Toy 2 uh, Te Reo Symposium, so we'll, we'll keep you updated on that one. It's going to be quite exciting. Uh, stick with us. Ka kite anō. Come on team, we've made, it. we've made it to Hastings. We're down here in the uh, city centre. You ever come to Hastings? I'll point something out for you. There's a um, there's a dis display of some um, sheep. It's quite interesting. You won't find that in many towns. So next time you're in Hastings, come down to the sheep um, display. Right, uh, follow along down here, team. Uh, this is where um, a lot of the stalls are. I want to point something out over here, though. It's something quite exciting, and that is. The premier, premier loose. Um, these are luxury restrooms. Um, 
you ever get a chance to come and try these things out, uh, give it a go. Fantastic. There are a lot of things happening down here. Um, art class going on in here. It's pretty exciting, especially if you like art. Coming team, getting late in the day here, just about to head off now. I wanted to show you something else that's quite unique to Hastings. And that's this uh, sculpture here. Well, I don't get my finger in the right place there. Now, if you look closely, that sculpture is spinning. And what's the sculpture of? A rotten old apple core. Have a look. Come and check it out yourself. Yeah, come in there, team. Um, so behind me, just to give and put an factoid out there for you. So this is the uh, Hastings Clock Tower and um, was built in 1935. Nearly destroyed in a bombing raid during World War II. Um, the bomb actually landed about 50 metres behind it. Shook it quite a bit, but it held its ground. So we're lucky that we still get to see it here today. Fantastic. Come in, peeps. Here we are out for dinner and I'm going to share this with you. This is uh, Black Betty's here in Hastings. Um, this is a premium um, barbecue place. Uh, ribs, steaks, you name it, you can get it here. Um, look, I'll give you a comment on how it all went later on, but as you can see, this crowd behind me look ravenous and we're going to get stuck into it. <laughs> Oh, I've come back in, peeps. What I can tell you is the uh, meals come out here at um, Black Betty's, and um, you've got some happy punters back there. Look at them go. And I'm just going to give you a zoom in on um, the, the pork grips here. Haven't tried them yet, but they look delicious. Beautiful. I'll give you an uh, update on how they go later on, but mm. now here's a surprise for you peeps. For some reason I've been picked as the uh, diner of the night and as a uh, special treat for winning that award, I've been given three significant slices of Malteser cheesecake. So there you go, if you're looking for a night out, something delicious to to eat, come to Black Betty's. If you really dig in like I have tonight, like I say, you're in for a real treat to end your night. Black Betty's, 9.6 out of 10. Now here's a surprise for you peeps. For some reason I've been picked as the uh, diner of the night and as a uh, special treat for winning that award, I've been given three significant slices of Malteser cheesecake. So there you go. If you're looking for a night out, something delicious to, to eat, come to Black Betty's. If you really dig in like I have tonight, like I say, you're in for a real treat to end your night. Black Betty's, 9.6 out of 10. Some excitement, real excitement going on here. It's quite dangerous. As you can see, there's some fella down there flicking around some flock, a flyer, fire. So full of um, ribs, I can't even speak anymore. And check this one out. It's a mix of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader's lightsabers. And this is called the Dance of Something. I'm not quite sure what, but anyway, looks exciting, looks like fun, and looks quite magical to be honest. Um, yeah, enjoy it. Right team, come in. Um, we're uh, heading heading back from Hastings now. We just stopped here on State Highway. Uh, I'm not sure what State Highway it is at the, um, the Paper Mulberry Cafe. Very nice in here. It's on the uh, sort of isolated on the State Highway. I would highly recommend it. I'll give you a look inside. And you all know I love a great pie. And look at that steak and kidney. Beautiful looking sausage rolls. And what I've ordered, lamb pie. <laughs> Coming team. Well, here you go. I just wanted to share it before I dig in. Beautiful 
beautiful lamb pie, full of uh, delicious succulent lamb with a uh, tomato relish side. I'd love to uh, love to share it with you, but it ain't happening.